All right, folks, uh, welcome back to part two of this VEDA series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at creating, adding airports in and creating profiles, all that jazz. So we've already got this uh, set up here. This is from last time, as you remember, we had Victoria and Kelowna up as our various ADISs. So we're going to add an airport in today. So let's just say we want to... Add, oh, I don't know. Let's let's add an IMO in because that's fine. So we're gonna go to what we're gonna do is manage profile. Okay. So when you get to the screen here, obviously you're presented with any airports or composites as they're called um, that you already have set up. To create a new one, we just go to manage composites, and this gives you a whole bunch of options. We can copy, uh, we can rename, delete, import, export, uh, new. So the neat thing is if you want to import old Vietas from the old Vietas version uh, before it got to the beta. Uh, you can do that here. So if you import and then you just have to select the old type. So the new type uses json.json uh, files. Um, and then I believe the old one, I think it was txt files. So I could be wrong about that. But it uses a different file type. You just have to select that in the box when it comes up and you can import old airport files. You cannot go the other way. So you can't go airports from the new Vietas to the old Vietas. But you can go airports from the old Vietas to the new Vietas if you wanted to. But we're not going to be doing that today. Uh, we're just going to create a new airport. Uh, so this pops up the airport identifier. Uh, we're going to go CYCD, as in Nanaimo. Composite name, we're going to call that Nanaimo. I think I spelled that right. Um, anyway, ATIS type. So, okay, so this is the option if you had a big airport where you had a departure ATIS and an arrival ATIS separate, you could create one of each. Uh, Nanaimo just has one ATIS, so we're just going to create a combined ATIS here. Uh, click OK. And you can see it pops it in at the top of the screen. Okay, so now that we have this created, it presents us with a bunch of options here. We're going to start with our just our general options. I think I may have somebody taken off here. I do. Okay, so it presents us with these general options here. And we'll, we'll go through them one by one and talk about these. So frequency, this is pretty straightforward. If we had a frequency that we wanted specifically, we could pop that in. Uh, and I most frequency is, and I actually have to look this up because it's a really weird one. All right, so the ATIS frequency for Nanaimo is 128.420. So you need the three um, decimal digits here for the frequency. But uh, yeah, anyway, so now that you've got that all in, again, you if you wanted to change the ATIS type, you could change that here. Uh, and there's the official observation time. Let's just change this to, say, 20 minutes past the hour. So if the ATIS is issued at any time apart from 20 minutes past the hour, the ATIS will automatically say special uh, before it starts the rest of the ATIS, which you may or may not want. Uh, I'm just going to leave this blank because often it is lag, or there's some significant lag between the uh, ATIS when it comes out in real life and when it gets updated on BATSIM uh, and the ATIS, so I just leave that unchecked. It's fine for me. Magnetic variation, this is important to set correctly. At Vancouver, it's minus 20, so we're going to leave that. Text-to-speech, if you wanted to change it up, you can. Leave it default, or you can change the voice. I'm going to change it to US female because that's what they uh, actually, you know what? Nanaimo, I think, uses the US male voice. Most of the other airports around uh, the FIR use uh, the female voice, but I'm going to leave it as US male. Uh, if you wanted to voice record, that would be checking this, and I will uh, come back to this at another in another tutorial. I think that'll be part three, so we can voice record the ADSs, but I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, Nanaimo is a voice recorded ADS, but we're going to set it up as if it, as if it was a text to speech ADS. Uh, IDS endpoint. There really is no, unless you're specifically told by your facility to, to play with this, there's really no reason to touch this. This would be uh, to integrate things with facility stuff. Uh, so we're just going to leave that. Okay, coming over to formatting now. If you wanted to use an external source such as UniATIS, you could check that, uh, and that pops open this external ATIS generator. Uh, basically, this was the old version that like Euroscope used. They used UniATIS, and uh, I might cover that in part three. I might not. We will see how things go. Uh, but we're not going to use that today. We're just going to use Vietis' built-in tutorial. Uh, format, it is using FAA format. So if you're in the U.S., you might want to check that, and that will uh, make things as if it were, or it'll pronounce things and say things in the FAA format. I'm going to leave that unchecked because I don't want that. Uh, Prepend notices to airmen, air missions to spoken NOTAMs. So if you remember, uh, let's pop this down for a sec. In this box here, the NOTAMs box, before it says anything, if you have that checked, it'll say, uh, notices to airmen or air missions if you have FAA format checked. Um, so I'm going to uncheck that because they don't actually say that in Canada uh, with the ATIS. So prepend 
flight level to spoken transition, altitude, level altitude. Um, yeah, so if you had clouds, say, uh, above a certain altitude and you wanted flight level, you could check that. Uh, I'm going to leave that unchecked because they actually use just thousands of feet here in Canada. They don't talk about flight levels in the ATIS. Prepend surface wind to spoken wind. So this would say, if you want this, and I believe this is more of a U.S. thing as well, uh, but it would say, for example, for Victoria, wind 350, or sorry, it would say surface wind 3504 knots. And Canada just says wind 3504 knots, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Uh, Prepend, so or sorry, append meters, kilometers to spoken prevailing visibility. So if you want to change it from miles to uh, meters or kilometers, you could check that box. Canada, of course, uses feet and miles for visibility, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Cloud layer height to metric if you wanted. That's pretty straightforward. And use decimal terminology. So if you wanted to use the word decimal instead of point, you would check this, which is what they do in Canada. So I'm going to check that. That's the only thing that I'm actually going to be checking in this formatting box. Uh, but obviously set this up to what the current usages is within your facility. Okay, uh, presets. This is the next tab. This is where you create all those runway configurations that I was talking about before. So let's just create a new one because we don't have any in here today. I'll create a new one. We're going to call this uh, runway, or let's just call it 1-6. Now you can call them whatever you want, but this, so this just helps you identify which I like to set them up by runway. So runway 1-6 anyway. So facility, this would basically say Nanaimo, ATIS information, and whatever the current ATIS information is, so alpha, at time, whatever. And then it'll give out the full weather string, which is all the information that is in here. Obviously it would be for Nanaimo, not Victoria, but it would give out all that information. And then, oh, I might have somebody calling me, hold on. Okay, so uh, yeah, after the observation time, give the full weather string, and then the airport condition, and then no tabs. So this is probably the most straightforward uh, way of doing it, and if this works for your facility, great. Uh, if not, what you would have to do is you have to modify this a little bit. So I'm going to just quickly copy and paste in some old stuff or so I don't have to retype this all out, and we'll run through it. Okay, uh, I actually changed my mind here a little bit. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you what I have set up for Vancouver because the Nymo is a little bit different. Um, they, just because it's an uncontrolled airport, or an FSS, I should say, um, it does end up being a little different. But essentially, what we have is Vancouver information, Bravo, let's say, or Alpha, or don't, whatever it happens to be. Uh, weather at whatever time, Zulu. It gives you the weather string, the airport condition, the NOTAMs, and then at the end it says inform ATC, you have information, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so it's great, and you can see it's kind of similar for, let's just say, Kelowna, right? We have... The uh, same thing here. So that's how I have that set up for those airports. Uh, and of course, you can create as many as you want. And for me, these are all the same within the actual template. But what where we'll change it is when we input the airport conditions into those boxes. So I'm just going to, just for example, we're going to copy this and put it into the Nanaimo here. So we've got runway 16. And I'm just going to delete this, put that in there. Uh, and that works good, except I just have to change this to the NIMO information. Okay, that's good. And obviously this isn't accurate for what they use in real life, but we're going to go with it. Okay, and I just have to get this guy a taxi in. Okay, so yeah, now that we've got this in, uh, we could obviously create this for as many as you want. Now the one thing you have to do is you do have to apply for each time you make an edit here, otherwise it deletes it. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if I go new and we'll call it three four, and if we paste this in, uh, Vancouver Center Zero Delta is with the airport with Chris, uh, for Chris taxi. All right, we will deal with that first. So Rocket Delta, Roger. Uh, just make a right turn here, and then it'll be straight through. And the first apron on your left is the flying club. Copy. Thank you much, Zero Echo Delta. No problem. Okay, so now that we are back here again, so if saying you have to hit apply to save so if I go back to 1.6 now and then change back to 3.4 if it will let me change back to 3.4 you see it doesn't save it unless you hit apply so just make sure that you hit apply before you do anything there um, we are just going to delete this for now so if I wanted to delete this I could delete it uh, and the other thing is if I want 1.6 I can always just this is really easy just copy and call it 3.4 and boom it does the same thing for runway 3.4 and we will apply that so now we have 
two options. Again, they're the same in the ATIS template, but we'll change things up later. Okay, moving on to contractions. So certain some certain quirks with Vietas that you have to maybe change up. So things like Arnev, for example, if you just type Arnev into your uh, like your approach type, it'll actually say area navigation. So we don't want that. What we'll do here is we'll type in Arnav and come over to spoken and R nav. So basically this says take this string, Arnav, and pronounce it like this, Arnav, uh, instead of area navigation. So that's what we want. We'll hit apply again. And there are some other funny quirks. So for example, uh, I'll just show you here, uh, as I already have set up for Kelowna. I have, for example, cumulonimbus. So in Canada, it's pronounced CB. They don't say cumulonimbus. So if uh, it sees CBs in the METAR, Vietis will by default pronounce it cumulonimbus. So I just changed the word cumulonimbus to CB. And that's how it'll that be. OK, uh, clouds, for example. So you can see here, Vietis actually will, before the cloud section, it'll say clouds view at 4,500, for example. And we don't want that, or at least I don't want that, because in Canada, that's not how they say it. They just go straight to the cloud. So it's like wind, blah, 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 view at 4,500. They don't actually say the word clouds before. So what I did is I typed in clouds, and then I just got rid of anything. I actually just added a space, I think. Uh, yeah, I just added a space. So that just, the ATIS just doesn't pronounce it anymore. Same thing with plus. So what it does with the temperature is if it's in the positives for whatever reason, um, it'll say temperature plus three, two point plus one. What I want to do is I don't want that because in Canada they would just say temperature five, two point one, whatever it happens to be. So again, same thing. I just typed in plus and then spoken, just added a space there instead. And again, I'm opening this up by double clicking on it. We'll allow you to edit it. Uh, and then again, the RNAV, which is one that I always do for all the imports. Good. All right. Uh, going back to the Nanaimo, though, I'm just going to leave it at RNAV because we're going to actually change this up eventually to a voice recorded data, so I'm not too worried about adding on all the contractions, but you can add in whatever contractions you see fit. Okay, transition level. Uh, this is, I think, primarily used in Europe, Canada, and the US, they don't use it, but if you added a transition level into your ATIS, um, you can change it up by low by adding a low, high Q and H, and then the transition level that you want. So that way it automatically selects the correct transition level for you. You don't have to worry about manually typing that in, which is really neat. Um, and that actually brings me back to the presets area. Uh, there are actually far more uh, ATIS codes here, and we can find that by going to the documentation. We can find out what those are by going to the documentation page. So um, I will take you there. And again, I'll, there'll be a link in the description so you can view all these. But uh, we'll just go take a quick look at those now and uh, see what they are. Okay, I'm back on the document or on the VATIS website here. So what we're going to do is just go to documentation and we're going to look, just scroll down. Of course, you can use the guide here. So let's actually just do that. Now we're going to go to profile configuration. Uh, here's all the various uh, options that you can use here. So say if you wanted RVR in your METAR, you could, uh, you could, sorry, in your ATIS, you could add that in. So say you had low visibility conditions and you just want to make a quick edit, throw an RVR there. Um, if you want to have present weather, you could throw that in there. Uh, prevailing visibility will be set if you add that. Uh, temperature, dew point. Of course, all this stuff will probably be done manually uh, as long as you have in full weather string. So full weather string adds in all this, but if you want to add things in manually. You can, of course, just add in these. Here, for example, we have transition level. Uh, so you just type in bracket TL if you wanted to add transition level. Uh, and this works, as it says here, for non-US ATISs only. Um, so yeah, here's some other examples of contractions. Uh, so MSP, uh, so this, for example, here in this, it's got Minneapolis as a, as a VOR. Uh, it, they don't want it to say Mike's your papa, so they had spoken. Plus would mean to pronounce it as the airport code. So this would say Minneapolis uh, is what that would say. Here's an example of transition levels. Again, you can read this in your own time. and We'll go through all of this. But um, yeah, there's lots of good information in here. I highly encourage you to go to um, this like text parsing rules here. Or here's a list of all the abbreviations that you can use uh, within V8. So there, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's really, really customizable. So I encourage you to go take a look at contractions and things like that if you're looking to get into that. But uh, let's head back over to V8 now. OK, um, so now that that's set up, that actually covers I believe everything that we need to do here. 
So what we're going to do is hit OK, and you can see it pops up Nanaimo. And boom, now we have 1, 6, 3, 4. Okay, so you're saying, okay, well, this doesn't work like the other ones, and that's right, because we don't have any airport conditions in. So essentially what we would do is, let's just go to Victoria, because we've got something up here. Let's just copy and paste this. Of course, you can type out whatever you want. And we'll change this to 1, 6. I need to part of runway 1, 6. And save it. And boom, just like that, you have a ATIS profile set up to go. And if I change it to 3, 4, you see it's, I would have to input airport conditions there. 1, 6, and there we go. So that is essentially how you would create this. So now let's just say that we didn't have this profile to start with at all. Um, so this is going to be, we're going to be backtracking a little bit here. Um, we're going to disconnect real quick because we've got to close this and disconnect this and close that. And we're back to this page here. So let's just say we didn't have any profiles in here. How would we create a profile? Pretty simple, just new. We'll call this CZVR tutorial. Open that up and you can see it says no ATIS composites defined. We go to manage profile and add a composite in. Again, same thing that we did before, CYCD, Nanaimo. No, I mispronounced or misspelled that. Okay, Nanaimo, okay. And of course I haven't done anything special so there's nothing in the um, profiles tab here. But essentially that's how you would add an airport in. And again, you can have up to four airports connected currently with this, this VATIS version. Um, so I'm just gonna close out of this. And yeah, that actually will just about do it for this tutorial. Uh, if you wanted to, of course, export an ATIS profile that you have set up already, um, if this will unfreeze, there we go. Uh, you could always just export with this button. That would open up your exports. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that is that. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I will catch you guys for part three, where we will talk about voice recording in ATIS. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys soon. See ya.